Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I've always had an interest in art. I, it's just been part of my life that's always been. My paintings are mostly about two things, color and texture. When I use my watercolors, I don't stick to just using the paints. I use a lot of found objects, and I like to use a lot of color. Now, I let it run. I like it to drip. This is why I have paper on my desk, because I make a mess. You can tell it's dry when it feels warm. Well, I'm going to paint a picture of daisies, and I'm going to start with my background. This is just spider webbing that you get for decorating at Halloween. And it's done. It gives it a good veiny, random, kind of more interesting background to it. It's just going to give the paint something to travel around on, and it'll leave a, an impression on it. This is phthalo blue, and I have watercolors. I try to use colors that are staining and are really clear. And this one is a phthalo green. It's also really staining. It's hard to lift up again once you get it down. Once this dries and gets mixed with all of the water that I've already sprayed on here, it'll be so much lighter. So you want to start out with a really vibrant. <laughs> I'm just going to tip this and get these to mix a little bit more on here. Since I'm going to do leaves, I need to decide what kind I want to do. So the hardest thing for me in any painting is deciding what I want to do because there's so many options. Draw your shapes on. I use a lot of found objects, things like gauze, just anything I can find for texture. Once it's dry, you'll have something like this. And I just like to take a look at it and see which way it looks up, where I'm gonna start things. I take pictures and then this is how I keep my sanity in our winters. <laughs> I take a lot of photographs. I enjoy them for themselves and I never really see any good reason to try and make a painting look just like one. I even think I think in color sometimes. Seeing stuff that's really interesting to me or even feeling things and then going back and being able to paint a picture of it instead of having to come up with how to say it. It's just so much more comfortable. Now that's dry and I get to go back to painting. That's one thing fun about watercolors is you can put more and more layers on and add to the colors. Let's see if I can find a leaf shape over here. I try to go back and forth from one area to the other so that when one part's wet, I can work on the other side while it's drying and then vice versa. Okay, I'm using a stamp that has the love poem on it. And then after I get the gold on there, then I'm putting an embossing powder on. I need to take a heat gun and I'm just gonna put heat to the words and it's going to make them stick out a little more. And with the watercolors, they look totally different when they dry than when they're wet. 
and you can't cover up mistakes. So I take the tact of just deciding not to call them mistakes <laughs> and not to have too set of an idea ahead of time. And that's just, it's, it's good lessons for me to figure out how to just work with whatever happens, not worry about whether it's a mistake or what was supposed to happen. I'm just really laying things out right now to see what kinds of things I might want to put on there. Maybe I'll use a piece of this. This kind of makes a mess. Okay, I think I'm going to add some blue. I'm at the point now where um, I usually let it sit and I just think about what I want to do. Look at it, which is what I have to do to, to know what I'm doing. Just to finish it up and make it a little more bright and finish looking, I'm going to use this 3D paint on it and I'm just going to kind of outline my focal point. Basically, your focal point has um, the darkest that you have your painting and there's also the lightest right around the focal point. And the lightest part of my painting is right in here, so that kind of let you notice the focal point the most. I think I'm going to call that good. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.